How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the 12 volt 0 to 50 amp battery charger. It can charge lead acid, lithium ion, and lithium iron phosphate type batteries. I looked at a lot of different chargers and I like this one the best because it has a display. My intention is to charge a lithium iron phosphate battery and those type of batteries really, really hate going over voltage. It will break them. So sometimes you might see the chargers allowing you to change the voltage. This is a very, very dangerous scenario because if you accidentally bump it, the voltage goes up, you ruin your battery. I like this one a bit more because the voltage is fixed. If you want a variable voltage one, you actually want it to sense the voltage first before applying any type of current to the battery. Having an adjustable current allows me to charge smaller capacity batteries, not just really big ones. Clamp it with as much force and as much surface area as you can. The best way would be to wind this clamp as much as possible and clamp on the wide side of this nut right here, all the way down there on both sides. I plugged it in, it's not on, but the fan is turning on on this thing. Let me just turn it up to 20 amps. I know it can do that much safely, 20.4 amps to 275 watts. They both read 13.6 volts, so pretty good agreement. My meter reads 9.19 amps. The charger reads 8.94 amps. The maximum it'll go is 50.9 amps. I've charged for quite some time and it seems like the temperature on these clamps leveled off. It's around 128 degrees. My target is to not go over 130 degrees Fahrenheit to not melt any plastic and also to be able to even just touch it. It's 60 degrees Fahrenheit ambient right now so I imagine if it's in the hot summer day you might not want to charge at such a high speed. Looking at the charger itself it's ramped up to around 73 degrees. The wires are 76 degrees. One clamp is 126 degrees Fahrenheit and the other clamp is 121 degrees Fahrenheit. This is charging at maximum 50.9 amps. At first when I use these I clamp these onto the battery terminals there's a trick to it you can't just clamp it any which way because you want the best contact as possible if you're gonna drive in 50 amps so there is a wrong way to do it and doing so will cause excessive heat and melt the plastic over here like I did so I was gonna replace them with these lugs but used properly it can transfer 50 amps on the AC plug side if you plug it in the front won't have a display and it won't charge the green light is not on but as soon as you twist it and turn it on it shows 14.6 volts that's a charging voltage there's no amperage going through it and the green light turns on in the back this is a pretty plain box nothing on the sides 100 to 240 volt AC DC output is fixed at 14.6 which is a very good thing DC output 0 to 50 amps adjustable it tries to charge at a constant voltage at first so it's going to dump all the current it can whatever you set it to in there until it reaches the nominal voltage of 14.6 so you're going to see maybe it'll start at 13 volts and quickly ramp up to 14.6 all that time charging at 50 amps but once it reaches 14.6 it'll stay there and the current will slowly ramp down all the way to zero at which point it is fully charged if you guys are interested in getting one of these check out my amazon affiliate link down in the video description below thanks for watching this video until next time